Meanwhile, a federal judge in Hawaii puts the president's revised executive order on immigration on hold just hours before it was supposed to take effect. And by the way, a federal judge in Maryland has followed suit. The president, though, he's not backing down. Watch this. This new order was tailored to the dictates of the Ninth Circuit's, in my opinion, flawed ruling. This is, in the opinion of many, an unprecedented judicial overreach. This ruling makes us look weak. Former New York City Police Commissioner Bernard Kerrick is joining us now on that ruling. Sir, you were the police commissioner in New York City on 9-11. Do you think that this ruling, which essentially allows people to come into this country, they've not been vetted very well, does that put us at risk? It puts us at risk, and I, and I think that's what people are losing sight of, yeah. what the ruling is all about. The ruling is made to temporarily ban people coming in from those countries because we don't have the ability to vet from those countries like we do anywhere else. That's what this is about. And I think we lose sight of that. And I, I looked at some of the comments by the judge and by some of the critics, you know, we're going to lose students in colleges, we're going to lose business, we're going to, you know, there's all these issues. The real issue is national security, and I think people forget that. And the real issue was the law. The law, as written, allows the President of the United States to determine that this group or that group should not be in this country. And, and you know what, Stuart, this is nothing that President Obama didn't do during his time in office. There were pl plenty, plenty of times that he stopped immigration um, temporarily uh, for, for, for certain national security reasons. President Trump is doing it, and, and uh, the left is completely losing their mind at the risk of jeopardizing national security and the American people. We've got a long time to wait before this is adjudicated by the Supreme Court. Yeah, it seems to me. But unfortunately, and what scares me, something's going to happen. Somebody's going to get in, something's going to happen, and that's when all Congress and everybody's going to stand around in a big circle jerk in Washington saying, oh, why didn't we do this? Why didn't we do that? You know what? Look at the real issues first. That would change the politics of the situation completely. It, it, listen, if something it, happened, it, and we don't want it, to assume that it will, we don't want it, to say that, it, but... Th think back to the aftermath of 9-11. In yeah. the aftermath of 9-11, you know, national security is first and foremost. We've lost sight of that. The, the importance of national security has diminished since then. And uh, it's, it, unfortunately, it only takes one event to happen before everybody sits around and says, oh, we should have, would have, could have. Yeah. I want to bring up a totally different issue. TMZ reports that Hillary Clinton <coughs> is seriously considering a run for the mayor of New York City. I think you know her, and I think you have some I do comment on that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, I personally, I, I mean, it's... Does she really want to do this? No, I, I can't fathom that she would really want to do this. She's run for president twice. Uh, president of the United States... It's a, bit, it's a bit of a step down. It sure is. Um, although the mayor of New York City is a national political position, so to speak. But still, you know what? You know, you've done your thing. You go about your business. Um, although I'd like to see this mayor gone, yes. but not replaced that's, with Hillary Clinton. That's what I was going to ask you. I mean, you're a quintessential yeah. New Yorker. You don't like the current mayor, Bill de Blasio. Would you prefer Hillary Clinton? I don't like the Blasio. I'd like to see him leave. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard Kerrick, now a diplomat. You're all right, Bernard. Thanks for joining us. Thank so you. Appreciate it.